Sports betting is super stressful, and if you cannot handle the stress, you will need to tap out. And I've experienced this throughout my career in sports betting, and I've got partners that have experienced it with me, and there are times where they are ready to tap out. And when they are doing this, they are actually doing it at the wrong time, and I'll tell you why it's the wrong time to tap out. And it actually might be the wrong time for you to tap out unless you're not really getting this game and not changing the way you're playing and progressing. So, you know, throughout the years of sports betting, I've played with my buddies since we were in high school, through college, and uh, through having a family. And what happens is that the evolution of your sports betting, maybe you're making not so much money in high school, in college, and maybe not so, making not so much money, and your plays are very minimal, right? And then you start to get a job. And then all of a sudden, you start to step up your money about how much you're betting. And, you know, it can get out of hand at that point. And what really happens is that if you're still young, you may not have a family yet, but once you start having a family, more bills, a house payment, that's when most people, if you're normal, you will tap out of sports betting, which is fine. It's a great time to tap out because you did it for fun and you maybe you had some degenerate binges in the past and you're happy to get off of that and hopefully you know, that's not the best way to live. And, you know, when you have a family and a wife and someone to be responsible for, you don't want to be lying about your sports gambling habits. So that is a great time to tap out. But now let's say that you are trying to get serious about this game. And I really wouldn't suggest you you do get serious unless you have the, the proper bankroll management and the stomach to manage the ups and downs because you know the biggest problem in sports betting even if you do have an edge in sports betting is that variance and most of the time when i'm getting new partners into this business um, they find that even though they see us winning 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 they get into it and um, they'll run into a losing streak and it could be a whole month of losing and for us we are doing like uh, weekly weekly balances right and so if you lose week after week after week it's very gut-wrenching and very difficult to see your bankroll just dwindling down and you know after three weeks of losing you're bound to tap out right and that's exactly the incorrect time to tap out of this game. You need to keep on going so that you can get back onto the positive side of the variance. And then that's when you need to decide, can you stomach this type of up and down? When it comes to, to betting, it's, it's, it's like this over the years. And it could go down and then back up. And, but slowly over time, that chart always has to keep going up. And that's your goal when it comes to sports betting. It's that long-term play. Um, but over those years, you're going to be running into those hills and valleys. So, you know, that's something that you've got to be able to handle. And if you quit when you're in one of those valleys, you're going to be quitting a loser. And that's, you know, that's the worst kind of feeling. I know that a lot of people... You know, like over those years since I was growing up, if I had stopped and not um, tried to figure this out seriously, of course, I would have quit a loser. But I would have probably would have quit at the right time before losing so much more of, you know, finances that I can't pay for things, which is way worse. And, and I know how bad it is because it's something that I've experienced in my own family with my dad you know, he just couldn't fight that bug. So, you know, it's just something that you don't want to do, right? And the other thing that you don't want to do is quit when you're down. Uh, but your, your feeling, your feeling is that 
I need to stop. And, um, you know, it just depends. It just depends on how well you figured out your system, how you can manage your emotions, how you can manage your bankroll. If you feel that you've got those things figured out, then, you know, you can probably say to yourself, let me get through this downswing and you can wait till you get back to the upswing before you quit. But you know what happens when you get back into that upswing, you're going to think, oh, I'm invincible. I got this. But and, you know, maybe you actually do. Maybe you actually have figured out this game and maybe you actually can keep going as long as you continue to follow your your rules about your bankroll management, managing your emotions and, and not chasing and doing all the things that will be considered mistakes in sports betting. You know, we all are human. We all have emotions. We all can go on a degenerate uh, binge once in a while. And it's the worst feeling, right? And, you know, if you're able to manage that, that's some of the key things that most amateurs will not be able to, to manage. And so, you know, sports betting is not just about picking the right team to win. It's about managing yourself. <laughs> because if you can't manage yourself, you're going to keep beating yourself up when it comes to losses. Even when I'm down, it's like it can be a, a like a somber week in my house. So, you know, that those are things that you just have to manage. And and when I when I am down, it's like I have to even tell myself, don't worry, it's going to come back. Don't worry, it's going to come back. And you just have to believe that and you have to keep going. And you know what? Over all these years, it always comes back. I had a really bad year, maybe two or three years ago, and it was it was really tough. And what do you know? It all came back and more. So, you know, don't quit when you're down. Manage your emotions. Don't don't go degenerate at those times. And you know, just know that when you're down, that's just the variance. That's just the way sports gambling works. You want to consider it over the long run guys okay good luck in the books this is ken with better culture